Some inventions can bring untold riches, while others can bring something even more important. CBS's Steve Hartman has a story of the latter on the road. After a massive stroke eight years ago, Kevin Eubanks of Paragold, Arkansas, had a massive recovery. Today, even without the use of his left arm, he can do pretty much anything. But there was one thing that was really important to you that you could not do. Yes, hugging with two arms. When you hug one arm, to me it wasn't real, and I miss that so deeply. Kevin says those bear hugs enveloping his grandchildren, they were his greatest joy. But over the years, he had resigned himself to never know the feeling again. Then, a few weeks ago, his daughter, who teaches occupational therapy here at Arkansas State University, introduced her dad to her class. Kevin told them how he missed those hugs. You could see it in his face and his eyes. It broke my heart because I was like, we have to do something. And so these four students did. We were all on board with it. It just needed to happen. They got together after class to invent a device. That's not going to work. A piece of adaptive equipment. It seems strong, though. Which they named? The Hugger. Kevin says it was so deceptively simple, he could have never imagined the effect. That's his oldest grandson, Cope. That's a good hug. <laughs> the motion just hit me, and I, I couldn't control it. You want to give Rig a hug? Especially after Cope's little brother stepped up. Come here, young lad. Rigney was born after the stroke. Oh, oh. that's sweet. This is the first time I've got to hug my, my boys. <laughs> the women responsible for this moment. We just cried and cried. Hope to start a business to make hugs possible again for grandchildren everywhere. <laughs> and if their first customer review is any indication, they'll be creating a lot more than profit. You can start with a two-arm hug, and I believe it could change the world. It yeah. sure did his. Steve Hartman. Love you. On the road in Paragold, Arkansas. Oh. You can never give or receive enough hugs. We'll be right back.